So is Python a pass by value or a pass by reference language? In a pass by value language, when we call my function, we're going to create a variable B, which points to an entirely new address, which holds the same value. This means if we change variable A or B, those changes will not be reflected within the other variable. Now in a pass by reference language, we get an entirely different behavior. When we call my function, variable B is created, but it points to the same exact address. Any changes done to A or B will be reflected within both variables. Now we're going to come to what happens within Python. Python. The truth is Python is neither a pass by value or a pass by reference language. Here you see the same program, but what you may notice is very unique in that variable A now instead holds a pointer, not an address that holds a value. Likewise, when my function is called variable B is created, which points to an address that holds another pointer. Essentially what variable B is saying is my address is unique and constant. My value is a pointer that currently points to the same object. Now this has implications for us in regards to assignment and mutability. In this program, we assign the variable B to the value two. Here we get behavior we We've never seen before. You can see the variable B has actually not changed the address it points to. However, the pointer that resides at the address B points to has changed. That pointer now points to a different address, which holds a different value. In regards to pass by value or pass by reference, assignment acts very much like pass by value. However, when we move on to mutations, we get behavior that reflects a pass by reference language. Here you can see in my function, we are mutating the value. As a result, the object pointed by B's pi object pointer is changed. This change is now reflected in both B and A. Last, we're going to go through some code examples. To start our program, we're creating two price data objects, one with Microsoft stock data and another with Apple. We're then looping and creating four users, each initialized with Microsoft stock data. Next, we're going to update the last user's price data via assignment. Here you can see within the function, we're assigning a value. Lastly, we're going to loop through the users and print the IDs of their price data objects. Here in the console, we can see our last user has actually received a brand new ID for its price data object. Because we assigned a new value, it got a brand new object. Down here at the bottom, we're printing both the first user and the last user's price data. We can see that the first user's price data remains unaffected, whereas the last user now shows Apple data. We're now going to go back and instead of assigning a new value, we're going to mutate to a new value. Here you can see our mutation method. When we run this program, we can see entirely different behavior. When we mutate a value, the object we're referencing has not changed. However, the contents of the object has changed, and this change affects all of our users. Even though we only updated the last user's price data, this change is now reflected within all users, and all users are now storing Apple stock data. So at the end of the day, Python is neither passed by value or passed by reference. It is instead most widely known as passed by object reference. So I'll leave you with that. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you on the next one.